A bill which recently passed the U.S. lower house has ordered the Pentagon to examine ways of strengthening missile defense cooperation among Seoul, Tokyo, and Washington. Well, uh, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel will have to report back to the Armed Services Committee no later than six months after the bill goes into effect. Our Kim Yun Bin explains. The U.S. National Defense Authorization Act for the year 2015 passed the House of Representatives last week. It stipulates that the Secretary of Defense should access and identify opportunities for boosting missile defense cooperation among South Korea, the U.S., and Japan. If enacted, the Pentagon will evaluate whether the three countries can share more military information, have their missile systems integrated, and conduct joint exercises. After picking up the information on Tuesday, experts in Seoul say Washington's move could face resistance, as it could anger China, and as South Korea is aiming to implement its own missile defense program, named Korea Air and Missile Defense, by early 2020. The passing of the bill comes in line with a report out of the Japanese media that U.S. National Security Advisor Susan Rice discussed the matter with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe last month. The Yomiuri Shimbun report said, Rice suggested immediately sharing information among the three nations. If South Korean radar detects a North Korean missile launch. Attention now lies on how the South Korean government will react, and if it will react, to Washington's move. Experts say Seoul will benefit the least among the three, because it's already set up high-tech radar systems throughout the nation because of the North Korea threat. Expect the issue to be discussed later this week, when the defense ministers of South Korea, the U.S., and Japan meet on the sidelines of the Asia Security Summit Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.